Welcome back. Today we are going to build a folding beginner's workbench. These are the tools that you're going to need to complete this job. The yellow tool is a 3 8 inch drill motor. The big red tool is a circular saw. Two C-clamps there. There's also a tape measure, a pencil, and a 3 6 inch drill bit. I'm going to use a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood to build the top of this table. I'm measuring it 30 inches wide, and I'm going to put three marks, and then I'm going to cut along those marks to have a 30 inch wide workbench top that is six foot long. I'm going to lay this straight stick on top of the plywood to guide the circular saw as it makes a long cut. Doing this is an attempt to make the cut straighter. Next, I'm going to cut a two by four, six feet long to match the tabletop. This is a fairly short cut, so I'm not going to need to use anything for a guide. Another tool you're going to need is a number two Phillips driver for your electric drill motor. This is going to help you put screws into the wall and that way you don't have to do it by hand. You can do it by hand, but it is a lot more work. Here I'm locating all of the two by four studs that are in the wall and I'm going to mark those locations on my horizontal two by four cleat here so that I can drill holes that are going to match up with the studs. I'm using the 3 16 drill bit to drill two holes for every wall stud. The reason I drill these holes is to make sure that this stud does not split in half as I'm screwing it to the wall. I want the top of my workbench to be at 34 inches and the top is three quarter inches thick. So the top of this cleat has to be 33 and one quarter inches from the floor. Since this stud is three and a half inches long, I cut two spacers, 29 and three quarter inches tall so that I could put this cleat on top of it and it would hold it in place for me to screw it to the wall. You can do this if you don't have somebody else to help you hold the board up on the wall while you're screwing it on. Using these spacers ensures that this 2x4 cleat is going to be level and parallel to the floor. I used number 10 decking screws that were 3 inch long to put this 2x4 on the wall. Once the cleat was on the wall, and it was 33 and a quarter inches from the floor, I cut two two by twos, 33 and a quarter inches long to be the legs on the outside of the workbench. Now I'm gonna to attach the cleat, which is the horizontal two by four, to the tabletop using a four inch strap hinge and some three quarter inch wood screws. I'm marking the location of each hinge on each side and drive in the screws for each hinge. It's important to use screws that are three quarter inches long or less when you're screwing it into the tabletop. Now with the hinge attached, we can do a test fit of the legs. It's easier to attach the legs with the tabletop upside down than working underneath it. I'm going to temporarily remove the tabletop from the wall and attach the legs. I want the legs to fold up during storage but they're long enough to where they're going to hit each other. So instead of laying on top of each other, they've got to lay beside each other for the table to be able to fold up. Again, I'm going to use two four inch strap hinges to attach the legs to the tabletop. Then I attach the tabletop back to the wall and the workbench is all ready to be put into use. Thanks for watching. There's more to come.